Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do a quick introduction today to one of my sleep systems. Um, now this is a Czech army bedroll. Um, these are really, really good. I mean, as you can see, they're pretty big. You know, they're not really for the ultralight camper. Um, ideally, if you're going away in a car or something like that. Um, and I tend to use this if I'm going out um, and weight is not an issue, um, sometimes just for an overnighter if I've got a fairly small pack that I can just strap this onto. Um, alternatively, if I am going away car camping, um, you know, you can just chuck it in the boot um, and as long as there's not too far to walk, um, it works pretty well. Now this is, as I say, quite bulky. One of the main reasons for that is that I've actually got a roll mat inside here as well because I do like my creature comforts. Um, and what I do, I think I'll move the camera a little bit closer in, we'll open this up and I'll show you what it's all about. Right then guys, so first off I've got just a webbing strap um, which allows me to cinch everything a little bit tighter than I otherwise would. That comes off with just two simple buckles and it's also a really useful way of carrying this round as well and strapping it onto your pack. Um, now this is the um, bed roll itself and it's as simple as just rolling it out. Um, now what I do, let me grab the camera and bring you around for a bit of a tour. To excuse my shoddy camera work here. So essentially this is a canvas type material. Um, it's fairly waterproof. The underside, same thing. Um, and I haven't got wet in this yet. So actually it works pretty well. If I come down to the zip end, let me just pop you back onto the tripod. Where are we? Here we go. So you've got zips here and here. Let's get this down part way, I think. So opening this up, you've got this really gaudy looking turquoise sheet. Um, this is essentially in order to keep it clean. Um, this buttons out really, really easily. Um, and what this does um, means you can take it off and wash it um, and it keeps the rest of everything else nice and protected. So if I just undo one part of it here, you'll see we've got a Czech army wool blanket. Um, now they're not the nicest feeling things in the world, so which is why this sort of cotton uh, oversheet works really well as well. Um, because it is a bit scratchy, but you know what? These are superbly warm. Um, you know, I will use this bag in the summer, sort of just by itself. Um, in the winter time, I have used it on its own, um, but actually I do quite like, um, as I said, my creature comfort. So sometimes I'll use this in combination with a down sleeping bag as well, if it's really bitterly cold. Um, and also inside here, I won't take it all the way out, but I've just got a little three-quarter length inflatable mattress, which is why this is a little bit bulkier than it normally should be. Um, and that just gives you that little bit more insulation between you and the ground. Um, and it works really, really well in that regard. Um, so let me move the camera around again a little bit and I'll show you what it's like actually getting into it. So let me just show you about getting into this um, bed roll. I'm about five foot 10. Plenty of space for me. And if I just very quickly open it up, you've actually got plenty of room in here for you and your, well, maybe not your kit, um, but you know, you can move around in this fairly easily. You know, you're not massively restricted. It's got a lot more room than a regular sleeping bag. Um, and actually, once you're zipped in for the night, it really is quite warm. I mean, it's a warm day today and already I'm starting to feel hot just lying in this. Um, but you know, if you're looking for a sleeping system that's, um, you know, gonna keep you warm in pretty much all weathers, 
this is going to go really really well for you obviously it is quite bulky as I've said um, you know you can take away the sleep mat side of it or you can use the sleep mat and put it in a different pocket or pouch of your Bergen maybe um, that will reduce the weight of this but because it's being strapped on the outside of my pack I'm not really too fussed about the bulk because it's going on the outside anyway um, and it leaves me more room inside my pack for other things um, but you know this is a really really good sleep system these cost well, when I bought this, it was I think it was £9.99 and, and maybe £5 for postage. Um, you find them quite often on military surplus sites and things like that. Um, so yeah, I mean I really do recommend them and I, I thoroughly recommend checking them out if you're in the market for something like this. Right then guys, well I hope that was useful. As I say, I'm a big fan of these um, Czech Army bed rolls. Um, you know, if you're not looking for anything super lightweight and don't mind something a bit bulky, these are a really, really good option and a really, really budget option as well. You know, you don't have to go out and spend two or 300 pounds on a high-tech sleeping bag. Um, you know, as useful as they can be in some circumstances, these are actually really, really good, just as warm in my opinion, um, you know, and you've got the added protection of having the waterproof outer, um, which means you haven't got to go out and lay out more money on things like a bivy and stuff like that. Um, I do tend to use this in conjunction with a tarp, because let's face it, no one wants to wake up in the middle of the night being rained on. Um, but you know, for pretty much, you know, 10 to 15 pounds, these are a really, really good bit of kit. Um, so anyway, uh, comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks guys.